In this video, we're gonna be going over how the TikTok algorithm works for small creators in 2021. If you wanna get more views on TikTok, you wanna get more followers on TikTok, like you've seen so many of my followers and my clients do, then you need to make sure that you watch this entire video. I don't care if you have zero followers right now, 100 followers, 1,000 followers, 10,000, even a million followers, you're gonna gain something from this video because if you have less than two million followers on TikTok, you are a small creator and all of this information applies to you. And I know what you're probably thinking, Rob, the organic reach on TikTok is down. I can't get as many followers. I can't get as many views. All of that is Yes, if you follow the exact instructions that I'm about to give you in this video, there's absolutely no reason that you cannot hit 2 million followers in the next 30, 60, 90 days. I've even seen people like Devin rodriguez Art, who was in my mentorship program, do it in just 24 hours. You heard that right. He went from 22,000 followers to 2 million followers in just 24 hours, and the same exact thing is possible for you if you listen to what I'm about to tell you. For those of you that don't know who I am, my name's Robert Benjamin. I'm the CEO of Helping You Grow on TikTok, the TikTok algorithm, the best time to post, the best hashtags used. I make all of these videos about TikTok. I quit my job working with Gary Vee to help you grow on TikTok and that is my life goal. I want to help you grow and I want to guarantee that you grow. So please smash that subscribe button, leave a comment below, even text me. Here's my phone number right here. I literally respond to every single comment that I get on my YouTube videos. So please, if you have a question, comment below. I'm going to make sure to get back to you. That being said, right now, one of the most important things when it comes to being a small creator on TikTok is you need to be posting enough. You need to be posting at least four to six times a day if you're less than 500,000 followers. If you have more than 500,000 followers, you can post one to two times a day, but when you're just starting out, you need to be posting more. In addition to that, I strongly suggest you model every single piece of content that you make after something that's already been successful. This could mean that you're duetting a viral video, or you're stitching a viral video, or you're recreating a viral video. At the end of the day, you need to be only doing things based on viral video ideas. I know, Timmy. Karen, you have a lot of original ideas that you really wanna get out into the world, but trust me, those ideas are not going to do well on TikTok. The TikTok algorithm prioritizes content that gets a high amount of watch time and the TikTok thinks they have an audience for. The easiest way to guarantee that TikTok has an audience for your content is to literally recreate a piece of content that has already been successful. For a lot of viewers, this content is going to be totally new to them. Yes, and they're gonna think that you're the original creator of it. I'm not telling you to steal somebody's content or to copyright somebody's content. I'm just simply asking you to hop on the trends on TikTok at the end of the day, TikTok and YouTube, both of them work based on trends. The biggest creators on YouTube do things that are trending. The biggest creators on TikTok do things that are trending and that is where social media is going. That's why Facebook has fallen off. That is why Instagram has fallen off because they're not culturally relevant and they don't keep up with the times because their algorithm is not prioritizing things that are trending. But TikToks and YouTubes are and that's exactly why when it comes to being on TikTok, you need to be taking advantage of the trends. When it comes to recreating content, when it comes to modeling yourself after content, you need to take everything into consideration the colors in the video, the angle of the video, the length of the video, the sound in the video, the text that's in the video, the placement of the text in the video, the font of the text in the video, and even the color of the text in the video. Do not DM me, do not comment on the video, do not email me saying, Rob, I recreated this video. Here's this video and here's the other video and they're gonna be totally different. It needs to be exactly the same. The only difference is you, your personality, your tone of voice, and hopefully you found a way to incentivize engagement because if you could do that and incentivize engagement, you are going to blow up on TikTok the same way that my mentorship clients have been. This person right here, over 400,000 followers. And guess what? It all came from a single post where they did a really good job of incentivizing engagement and getting people to follow them. If your video doesn't have a good hook, nobody's gonna watch your video. The first three seconds really needs to get somebody to watch a video. It's gotta be something with text on the screen. It's gotta be something with the way that the camera's going. These things are really, really, really going to help you blow up on TikTok. In addition to that, you need to make sure that there's some sort of shock factor in every single video. If there's no shock factor, the video is not gonna do well because it's just gonna be a boring piece of content. And trust me, everybody's attention span is already horrible. They do not want to see a boring piece of content. They want to see stuff that hooks them in and gives them some kind of shock value that boom, they want to share this with other people. They want to watch it again and see it happen again. They want to comment below, which gets people to loop the video, gets you a high amount of watch time and gets TikTok to promote the video app. That being said, every small creator on TikTok should have a creator account, a pro account, not a business account. I know, if you have a business account, you get a link in your bio, but guess what? If you don't have a lot of followers on TikTok, nobody's going to the link in your bio anyway, so please have a creator account. It lets you use trending sounds, it gives you access to more analytics, and overall, it's gonna help you be a better creator because it's gonna give you access to new trends, which are gonna allow you to blow up. If you're a business account, you're significantly limited in the amount of sounds that you can use, and this is why you're not growing on TikTok. And also, I do just wanna say something. For those of you that are struggling 
going to grow on TikTok. It's not TikTok algorithm. It's not that people hate you. It's not that anybody's racist. It's not that anybody doesn't like you. It's simply your content is not getting a high enough amount of watch time and you're not posting at the right time using the right hashtags. If you post the right content at the right time using the right hashtags, I don't care who you are. If you're a 12 year old kid, if you're a 60 year old grandma, well, maybe you won't be a grandma at 60, but 70 year old grandma, you can go viral on TikTok. I have literally seen everybody do it. I'm telling you guys, it doesn't matter what niche you're in, what you post about, where you're from, right content at the right time using the right hashtags and you are going to blow up. So that leads me to my next point, which is going to be what hashtags you're using and what time you're posting on TikTok. Generally speaking, the best time to post on TikTok right now on the weekends is gonna be from 10.30 a.m. to 11 p.m. On the weekdays, it's gonna be from 10.30 a.m. to noon, from two to four, from four to 6.30, and then again after 7 p.m. You heard that right. Those are the general best times to post. Make sure you're posting for those in your time zone. It doesn't matter what time zone I'm in or what time zone your favorite creator's in. Post for those in your time zone. That being said, you may have a best time to post on your account that is not within those time periods. If you wanna learn how to find the best time to post for your account, you need to go watch my latest video about the best times to post on TikTok where I walk through that. I walk through how to look at your analytics, how to find the best time to post on your account and so much more information. So please go check out that video. And I've literally seen the best time to post on TikTok be the difference between people getting a thousand views, people getting a hundred thousand views, or even getting 40 million views like Devin Rodriguez art did on one of his posts. So before I get into hashtags, I do want to mention hooks again. Guys, hooks are the most important part of your video. If you're not getting enough watch time, it's because you're not giving people a strong enough reason to watch. And this ultimately is going to come from your hook that's lacking. Your hook should not be about you. It should be about your audience, questioning your audience, scaring your audience, building curiosity with your audience. It should have nothing to do with you. If your hook has something to do with you, you're putting out selfish content and that's why nobody's watching your videos. It needs to be all about serving an audience. Whatever that audience is, you need to be serving them, either giving them entertainment or giving them education or escapism. Those are the three E's that you guys need to be touching. If you're not touching any of those things, well then guess what? Your content is not going to hit the mark on TikTok and it's not going to get pushed out and you're not going to get views and you're not gonna get followers. And you may be sad in my comment section, but I just told you why you're sad. Because you need to change the hook and you need to make your content about those three things. So, when it comes to hashtag strategies to be using on TikTok, I have a full length video on this. I don't wanna talk about it in this video because it can literally take an hour for me to go through this. Obviously, the hashtag video is not an hour long, but I could ramble on about this for an hour. So please, at the end of this video, make sure you guys go check out that hashtag video. The next part that I'm gonna tell you though, and I will warn you, hashtags, they make up about 5% of whether or not you get followers, views, and go viral on TikTok. TikTok. The next thing I'm about to tell you makes up about 75% of it and it's the most important thing when it comes to growing on TikTok. So please make sure you listen up. And you guys probably guess it, your watch time and your completion rate. Your watch time, if video is less than 15 seconds long, needs to be over 100%. Over 100%, not 80%, not 75%, not 50%, over 100%. If your video is 16 to 30 seconds long, it's gotta be over 75%. And if your video is over 30 seconds long, it's gotta be over 50%. Now that being said, if you're hitting those watch time metrics and your video is not going viral, it's because TikTok doesn't think they have an audience for your content or your watch time percentage completion is not high enough. That is going to be the percentage of people that actually complete your video. That number should be over 50%. So please make sure you guys are taking all of these things into consideration when you're posting, when you're evaluating your posts and when you're trying to make new content on TikTok. The next tip I have for you if you're a small creator, you need to be doing three things right. First, you need to be duetting viral videos. Second, you need to be stitching viral videos. And third, you need to be going live three to four times a week, at least for 30 to 45 minutes each time. This is going to significantly impact the amount of followers that you get and the amount of For You page exposure that you get. If you wanna be on the For You page, you need to show TikTok that you can keep people on the app. It's the only thing they care about. One of the best ways of doing this is going live. It's gonna get you way more followers, get you posts way more exposure, and it's gonna help you build a stronger connection with your audience audience and allow you to better understand how you can serve them and what kind of content you should create. You guys need to make sure that you're taking advantage of these features. TikTok did not put them in by accident and TikTok isn't getting rid of them anytime soon. So you guys better learn how to use them to serve you and take advantage of them so that you guys can tap into the trends that are on TikTok and stuff that's already been successful on TikTok so that you too can be successful. That being said, if you want guaranteed growth on TikTok, you need to get into my mentorship program where I guarantee I can help you grow on TikTok. You heard that right. In the next 30 days, I guarantee I can help you grow. If you don't grow, you're gonna get your money back, no questions asked. If you wanna learn more, go to the link 
in the description, but to put it simply, I'm going to guarantee that I can help you grow the same way I helped Devin Rodriguez Art grow to over 16 million followers, Carnival over 3 million followers, Av Moves over 6 million followers, and so many other creators. I did it by telling them exactly what to post, when to post, what hashtags to use, and I want to do the same exact thing for you. I don't care what niche you're in, what background you have, or how many followers you have right now, I guarantee I can help you grow. It's pretty simple. You're going to go through six steps to becoming a TikTok expert course. You're going to send me some information. I'm going to send you back a personalized plan. And then for the next 30 days, I'm going to be following up with you every 48 to 72 hours, critiquing your content, telling you what to do differently, looking at your analytics together. And this ultimately is going to guarantee that you grow on TikTok. If you don't grow by the end of the 30 days, I'm going to give you your money back. No questions asked. If this sounds interesting and something that you want to do because you're ready to take TikTok seriously and you're ready to stop sitting on the sidelines and you're ready to blow up on TikTok and invest in yourself, then you need to go to the link in my description and check it out. If not, I strongly suggest you check out the two other videos I'm about to put up on the screen because they're the videos that YouTube thinks you should watch next.